In 2001, Parliament Hill remained the iconic focal point of Ottawa's political landscape. The area was characterized by its historic significance, with the stunning Gothic Revival architecture of the center block housing the chambers of the Senate and the House of Commons, as well as the symbolic Peace Tower. The East and West blocks flanked the center block, each playing vital roles in government affairs. Visitors to Parliament Hill were greeted by expansive lawns and pathways, inviting exploration and providing a picturesque backdrop for national events and ceremonies. Adjacent to Parliament Hill stood the Supreme Court of Canada, a modernist architectural gem symbolizing the importance of justice in Canadian society. The courtrooms inside the building featured artwork and motifs, emphasizing the principles of transparency and accessibility. Wellington Street, running in front of Parliament Hill and the Supreme Court, served as a major thoroughfare in downtown Ottawa. It was a hub of activity, bustling with government workers, tourists, and residents going about their daily lives. The street was lined with government buildings, hotels, restaurants, and shops, making it a central artery of commerce and governance. Downtown Ottawa in 2001 was a vibrant urban center, characterized by its mix of historic landmarks and modern amenities. The city's demographics reflected Canada's multicultural fabric, with a diverse population of over 800,000 people, including indigenous peoples, immigrants, and descendants of settlers. This diversity enriched the city's cultural scene and contributed to its dynamic atmosphere. However, with the bustling activity came challenges, including traffic congestion. Wellington Street and surrounding roads experienced heavy traffic at peak times, particularly during rush hours and special events. Efforts were made to manage congestion through traffic management strategies and public transportation initiatives, 